Yep. <laughs> We're having a baby. Oh my goodness. I just thought I'd address the elephant in the room now. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't even know what to say, but we'll talk more about that later. Um, this is going to be a day in my life. I have a lot to fill you guys in on. Um, I don't want to make this channel super pregnant -y. I know there's a lot of people out there trying to get pregnant or just aren't interested in the baby stage too. I mean, there's... Anyway, but it is my life, so it's going to pop up in vlogs here and there and stuff like that. Um, and I will definitely fill you guys in later on in this video, but it feels so good to let everybody know. Um, yeah, I'm not a great actress, so... Anyway, I am actually, I just dropped my kids off at my mom and I'm just running a couple errands this morning. It's like this super moody, gloomy day. Um, and I'm running into a greenhouse. I'm looking for hanging plants, not the plants, the pots, hanging pots for my planters um, on my porch. And I haven't been able to find ones that I liked. So anyway, I'm gonna go to the Village Farm Market and Nursery and see what they have. Um, maybe look at their house plants too, cause I can't help myself. Um, but first I wanna get a little bit of breakfast. <laughs> my craving has been the red pepper egg white bites from Starbucks and they're not cheap. Oh my goodness, I've tried my own versions and they're just never as good and I just crave them so much. They're so healthy for you. I think they're like, well, I don't know how healthy they really are. And so I could eat four of them. I've never done that. I've always only ordered the set of two, but oh, they're so divine. Also, I'm gonna be doing some cooking this evening, a classic cheesesteak recipe. Um, I live in Pennsylvania. Philly is not too far away, so Philly cheesesteaks, so good. Anyway, so we'll be having that later on. And of course, I will be answering all your questions, or at least some of them, later on in this video, what the gender is, if there's a baby bump, all that stuff. Actually, I can't tell you the gender yet, but we'll talk about that too. Anyway, let's get going. I can't talk straight when I need food. <laughs> um, and yeah, let's get on with this day in my life as a pregnant mom of two. I guess that's what I am. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> okay, let me show you this pillowy, magical food. It is, honestly, they're so unimpressive looking. Okay, so inside there's like roasted red peppers, which are like super flavorful. And then I think the green stuff is probably like spinach, I don't know, and then it's egg whites, um, which I included in my last video, which was a morning routine. I included my recipe for like egg bites in the oven in like cupcake pans. And it's just, it, I mean, it tastes amazing, but the texture is nothing the same. The flavor is nothing the same. They're really good in their own way, but they don't fix that like insatiable craving I have for these, assuming this craving will pass eventually, right? But I will let myself get them once a week when I am having like a work day or a running errands day type of thing. They're so divine. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Ooh, they're piping hot. Whew. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy these on my drive to the nursery, and it looks like it's starting to drizzle, so I might have to get my umbrella out, which I'm not in love with the idea, but it's just such a pretty gloomy day. I'm kind of feeling the plant, nursery, greenhouse, rainy day vibes. It's, it's, I'm excited. Anyway, but I'm mostly excited because it's breakfast time. You're probably like, where's the coffee, Megan? I don't always order a coffee even. I just come for this because it's so expensive. I'm like, if I get a coffee yet, it's going to be like 10 bucks. I still get a coffee sometimes, but I can make my own at home. Okay, I'm at the Village Farm Garden Center and the drizzling has stopped, I think, but I still might wanna take my umbrella since I'm taking my camera with me. And how perfect is my shirt for going to the greenhouse? Or the nursery, I guess it is. Um, but yeah, I see already a bunch of hanging plants and stuff, so I'm excited. Hopefully I don't take too long in here because <laughs> this is the kind of place I could just get sucked into. Look at all these tropical plants. I've never, wow, this is gorgeous. And we had like such a windy day last week, like, well, a couple days. I'm surprised these are looking so good. Wow. I've never, never really looked into hibiscus, but wow, that is gorgeous. Ooh, look at all the house plants. I must stay away. No, I must buy one. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, I'm back. Let me show you the goodies I got. They did not have any empty hanging plants, but they had tons and tons of um, like full planters with all the flowers in already and stuff. But I did find some stuff. First of all, I got this plant. I recently bought a little mini orange tree from Walmart. We'll see if it actually lives. But I thought that this would be the perfect pop for it. It's like the concrete look, but I love the like the ridges on it. It's so cute. This was, let me see my receipt. Oh, wow, only $12.95 for that. And that's a decent sized planter. And I got another one. Oh, this is so cute. This is gonna go in my that you have yet to see office. I'm sorry, I need to show you guys that. Um, but I thought that would be so cute. It's um, again, kind of that concrete look, but with the little dots. There you can see it. And it has leather straps to hang it by, so adorable. And then I did get one plant. This is a Hope Peperomia, which I have a Peperomia that's not near like this one. This one's really big and kind of like succulenty, waxy feeling. So cute, I love the shape of it. Um, and so yeah, I'll have to hang that one up later. So I was talking to them there and the owners are friends of family and they were so generous. They gave you guys a discount code for a free six inch plant with a $20 purchase and that offer is good till the end of May. So you have some time locals to jump on that and use it. It would not be hard to spend $20. They have so much awesome stuff. They're really known for their roses, like their knockout roses and their like miniature roses. They had so many house plants and tropicals, and mulch there and pavers and like the retention wall blocks, the really pretty ones. And yeah, lots of shrubs, which we need to get some stuff done out front of our house. So um, I definitely will have to be going back for the shrubs there. They had just a huge variety. And they also have a village farm market right beside with like tons of food and like annuals and things like that. It's just a one-stop shop kind of if you're looking for a nice, and you guys always ask me for Mennonite recommendations and this is like a Mennonite run, Mennonite owned establishment. So definitely go check them out if you wanna get that Mennonite experience and customer service and all that. Anyway. I need to go pick up my kids. It is drizzling a little bit, but I'm gonna go pick them up and maybe even get a little bit of potty training squeezed in today. We'll see, I don't know. I'm kind of just taking it like in bits and pieces. Um, so far, it hasn't been going really well. I thought, you know what, if I keep trying, eventually he'll show that he is ready and then we'll like hit it hardcore. So for now, I just try to like test it out like once a week, see how it goes, see if he's communicating better. That seems to be the problem. He doesn't tell me when he needs to go. I don't think he even realizes when he has to go, so. Yeah, I'm not used to having a two-year-old that's not potty trained. Um, Ivani did pretty good, but it's okay. They're already at their own pace, and yeah, it'll happen when it happens, I guess. But I'm gonna try today, maybe for at least a couple hours. So I'll catch up with you in a little bit. We have a budding pianist over here. She was working on this, on her little nest. And now she's playing piano. I wanted to play piano and let that out for a while. But I want to put it in the oven to cool off. Oh, it's cooling off in the oven, I see. Do you want to play piano one more time? Okay, so I wanted to point out my shirt I'm wearing. I just got it at Old Navy. I just think it's like so perfect for springtime. It has flowers on it. They look embroidered, but they're not. Um, and I paired this with a coral skirt. I'm wearing this light pale blue one now. I just feel like you could pull so many colors together with it. The only thing I'm not loving is the neck is just so low enough that I feel like I have to wear something underneath or like when I bend over, I'm like worried about it. So I do layer it, but um, you might not have to depending on what you prefer. But yeah, I really like this shirt. But I thought before I get too big and have a real bump, um, I wanted to show you some pieces that I got in that still fit me right now. I still love them. Um, they're new and you might not have seen them. It'll be, I'll make it really quickly here. But there is the bump or lack thereof. But anyway, we'll talk about that in just a bit, but I wanted to show you a few more things that I picked up in the last month. By the way, that last skirt I was wearing was from Inherit Clothing Company, I forgot to say that, but this dress here I got of all places, Amazon, and it was like this linen looking dress with the perfect length, it's not too short. Um, it has button, like a button detail going the whole way down the front with a couple different ruffles. 
and it looks linen-y even though it's not. It feels great quality, has a little tie bow here um, with elastic in the waist underneath it. One thing I will say is the neck feels a little like cheap just because it's only like turned over and that's the only way they hemmed it. But other than that, that's like the only complaint I have. And I actually loved it so much. I bought it in a black as well. Um, and they have a bunch of different colors on Amazon. Um, it did take a while to show up. So just warning you, it's not like two day Amazon Prime delivery or anything, but it was worth the wait. So cute. And I feel like I'll be wearing this for a while, even when I am a little bit larger in the middle. Okay, and I have not worn a jumper since honestly probably the first grade, but I ordered this one when I saw how adorable it was. Um, I have some friends that have like overall dresses and I always think they're cute on other people, but not on me, that's not really my style. But when I saw this black one with like the button detail on the front here, and I think it does have a small slit in the back. Yes, just a little small one. Um, I knew I had to get it. It's from Fern V, maybe is how you say it. I'm not sure. This shirt I got from Amazon. Um, I got a large, I believe, so size up, but it works really well. I love the color. And of course, it came in so many other colors as well. Um, yeah, I'll try to link both pieces. I know I can link the Amazon one, but I'm not sure how that's going to work with the Fern V. Oh, there's pockets. That's right. I forgot to show you that part. Both sides have pockets and the back is so cute. You can actually adjust the straps here. Let me make it a focus there. Yes, yeah, see that? You can adjust the straps using the buttons there, which are so cute. Yeah, I really love this. This is like Megan in a jumper for sure. And the platform sandals I got off of Amazon as well. So of course I can link them and they're surprisingly comfortable for how you know thick they are at the bottom. I think it's because there's like a spongy sole there or something. And I love the espadrille look. So pretty. Yes, I love this whole outfit, even though I probably won't be able to wear it very long because it's not stretchy, um, but I'm gonna wear it while I can. Okay, and this outfit I have been wearing so much this spring. It's the same shirt I showed you before from Amazon and a Target denim jacket and then this skirt. It's so flowy, so pretty. It is lined and I got it from the Main Street Exchange. I'm not sure if it's on their website or not. I did buy it in store, um, but I can try to link it. And then these sandals are just Target sandals that are so, I don't know, easy. So like no fuss. I have been wearing them a lot. Um, so yeah, here's just another little spring outfit that works really well and um, it kind of just makes you look fluffy everywhere. So I don't think people really think about a bump at all. I wore this a lot when I was trying to you know, not that I was had a lot to hide, but um, yeah, you guys have any guesses how many weeks I am. I'm sure the, you guys will be all over the map. And lastly, one more new top from Old Navy. And I just realized this shirt here, um, I will, will not be able to link probably because I did get it off the clearance rack. So sorry about that. But this one I can link. It is in their new line here. And I am very picky if I'm going to wear tie dye. I've tried it before and it just doesn't work out. But this, I'm pretty hopeful about. I love, I love this color here. It's very muted. Um, this color, eh, I can take it or leave it a little bit, but I like the whole ombre effect. Um, and I got this one in a medium, but I wish I would've got it in a large, like the clearance shirt that I had, because I feel like it fit even better. There wasn't a lot of excess fabric to do a little knot with. I'm wearing it with a Main Street Exchange skirt that is super wrinkly, um, but you get the idea. Um, and again, the same Target sandals. And yeah, I think I'll be wearing this shirt a lot. My favorite thing about it is the neckline. It's like a crew neck, so I don't need to wear a undershirt underneath. And yeah, it's gonna be nice and cool for those summer months. So that is the last one. So the way I've been doing like my loose and flowy shirts, if I wanna knot them lately, is I've just been taking like a section from the middle of my shirt and then like a little section from the hip. So I have like two bunny tails. And then I will just take them and twist them one time. See what I did? I just twisted it. Now I'll do a beginning of like tying your shoe, like just one knot, okay? And then it's gonna wanna untwist, which is fine. And look at that, you have like a little bow rather than that weird like bullseye knot with like the thing sticking out. And it stays pretty well as long as you make sure you do that little twist. I found it works awesome. Oh, okay, the lighting is better out here. I'm just sitting down now, the kids are down for their naps. Um, and I am famished. I am eating two egg rolls from and some rice and just I don't know if you can see that there's sweet and sour sauce in there duck sauce or whatever um, We stood in line for 52 minutes on Saturday to get the famous egg roll ladies egg rolls. They're that good um, So I'm just gonna sit here and eat this and then we are going to chat about 
me being pregnant yeah it's crazy if you watch my morning routine definitely do that was very sneaky i would have loved to tell you that i was pregnant during that um maybe some of you picked up on it but um yeah that's why i've been getting up later i've been so tired i just put the kids down for their naps and i could have just laid in bed and slept I can't, I have things to do. Um, I rarely ever take naps except Sunday afternoons. I just like power through, but I'm telling you the afternoon slump is rough. Um, and I remember like that, it was the same way with both my other kids too. Um, in fact, when I was pregnant with my first child, Ivani, I was still teaching school. I would come home from school and I would crawl right into bed and fall asleep and I would just sleep until Josh came home from work and he'd wake me up, we'd eat some kind of supper and I'd go right back to bed again. So it's kind of how I feel now. I just, it's not really an option for me to you know take naps all the time anymore which kind of stinks but you know i have taken a nap maybe two or three times but hopefully i'm gonna have more energy here coming up soon another thing that oh my goodness has been crazy funny uh, it's kind of odd is like i just crave anything sour um this water has an entire half of a lemon squeezed into it and it's it's so sour. I'm sure it's probably not good for my teeth, but boy, it just hits the spot. I have yet to find a really sour popsicle. I've been looking for some, um, and I t tasted a couple different ones, and like lemon lime ones, different stuff, and they were never very sour. So if anybody has a good tip for me of really sour popsicles, I would love to hear about it. But anyway, I'm going to quickly eat my late lunch here, and then we will chat about some details. Okay, my little lunch is done and I am back in a cozy sweater. It is like drizzling outside. It is just a mood. So I wanted to be all cozy and comfy. Um, anyway, let's get into some chit chat. I don't know how much like pregnancy stuff you guys want on my channel. I'm the type of person that doesn't really love to talk. Like I remember when I was pregnant with Fletcher, I was vlogging at that time too. And I just didn't feel like talking about it a ton because I'm the type of person that I just like to live my life and not dwell on it too much because then it makes time seem so slow. And then another thing is I usually feel pretty great. Here, <laughs> my plant is peeking in on the shot. Um, another thing is I usually feel pretty good compared to most people and so it's easier to kind of forget a little bit. Anyway, so YouTube has this handy feature where I can see where you guys click off on my videos. So I might just kind of um, put some pregnancy stuff kind of at the ends of different day in the life videos and stuff and I can see, you know, if the views start plummeting at that point then I'll know you guys are interested or if people stick around for those, especially like today I teased it that I was going to talk about it at the end. I can kind of see who stuck around and I can see if that's something you guys are interested in because I know some of you are probably trying to get pregnant or are um, or maybe there's some of you that you know are wondering what it's like to see if you really would like to start a family or not. I don't know. There's all different you know, lifestyles, but I know a lot of you are even older than me and you're just done with that stage too. So I don't know. I can't hide it. It's part of my life. So it's going to pop up here and there, but how much I really dwell on it might, you guys might have a little bit of an impact on that. So next week I'm going to be posting a Q and A. I asked you guys for questions. Um, and I'll talk some more specifically about my pregnancy and some stuff in there, but we don't even have to talk about pregnancy. If you guys talk about, yeah, we can talk about whatever you want. So definitely stay tuned for that video and I will show you the reaction to telling my three-year-old. And also I did film telling my husband. So that should be fun to see. So I will put that all in next week's Q and A video. Plus I'll show you guys, the plan is to show you guys how I make my nitro cold brew. You guys seem to be really curious about that and my friends all love it. Well, they tell me they love it. How do you know for sure, I guess. But like the Nitro Cold Brew makes like the best iced coffees. So I'll put that at the beginning of our little chit chatty Q&A next week. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in more, definitely check back then. Okay, how many weeks am I? I'm sure is the first question you guys wanna know. And when you're watching this video, the day you are watching, if you're watching the day I upload, I will be, 15 weeks and four days pregnant. So I'm in the beginning of my second trimester. My due date is, well, we're just gonna say the baby's probably coming in November because I always go late. Um, yeah, so we'll say it's a November baby for now. I don't like to get too hung up on due dates because <laughs> it's just like a false promise. It's not gonna happen then. My other two kids were both eight days late. So, and that was with like being, I wasn't really technically induced, but yeah, I kind of was. Um, you guys can definitely watch my positive birth stories that I have posted on here. They were really, like they both went really well and um, they're encouraging. So 
dear god please let it be like that for the third time right anyway so i get to be pregnant all summer long which is completely fine my daughter ivani her birthday is in september and so i was big and pregnant you know over the summertime this time it is the november baby i'll just be big and pregnant in like september october um which is my favorite season so i plan to be out and about and active um that might be another question you have how am i feeling lately um and we can go into more depth in that in you know next week's video but i feel pretty good around week actually i feel really good honestly around week seven i would feel like kind of queasy in the morning um so i just have to make sure i ate which is why in that morning routine you saw me eating pretty early in the morning that's why but that actually lasted for about a week and then it went away and then i was so worried that i lost the baby because it went away um and other than that my symptoms i hardly had anything besides like extreme fatigue in the afternoons kind of being a little bit sore and maybe a little bit moody normally when i'm feeling like an emotion i know why i'm feeling it like something made me angry or sad or whatever but i was feeling like emotions that i wasn't even sure what they were tied to so maybe we'll put that under you know pregnancy symptoms i don't know um and cravings i already talked about i've been really craving those egg bites and sour stuff I don't really have like I never did with the other kids either like raspberries that was one thing I was always craving um, but I don't really have like specific pregnancy cravings it's just that when I want something I want it now and I can't get it out of my head which I heard is actually sometimes your body's way of telling you that you're low on you know a certain nutrient or something which is really fascinating that's amazing but <laughs> the one night I wanted I told Josh if he he was working up towards like trail side it's like this gas station and I wanted their gas station fried chicken it's like i don't know i don't know how good it is but to me it was just what i wanted and they have like potato wedges like seasoned potato wedges too and i was craving this all day and he brought it home so sweet i was so excited and we opened the bags up and he had forgotten to get the sauces and i could just taste the fried chicken and those potato wedges with their honey mustard and their ranch and i was so devastated i could have cried i was like that's what i was craving Thankfully, the craving went away like a day later, whatever, even though that didn't really scratch the itch, not having that dipping sauce. I'm such a dip girl. Anyway, it was quite funny. I mean, now looking back, it was funny. But um, yeah, I just thought I had to have that specific like flavor palette. I don't know. It was, it was, it was funny. Um, and yeah, I don't really have a huge bump yet. Um, I feel like I can see it for sure. I look pregnant in the evenings, I feel. Um, and I was afraid family would catch on. Everybody's like, no, we couldn't tell at all. You know, I was afraid. I do not want to wait. There are people that have waited too long to tell people and you can tell they're pregnant already And it's like when are you gonna say something like you're obviously you look pregnant I did not want to do that. I was like I must tell people before I actually start looking or acting pregnant anyway, so I Don't think anybody knew my family said that they knew I was pregnant because we invited everybody over to tell them which I was offended by because I'm like, excuse me, I have you guys over all the time. Um, not all the time, but like since Christmas, I've had my whole family over like probably three times. Um, so whatever, they probably think that every time I have them over. Yeah, they know I want kids. So I guess, yeah, it would make sense that they're not super duper shocked, right? But yeah, it was fun telling Ivani. It was fun telling Josh. So stay tuned for next week's video. Um, but yeah, I think I'll save all the other juicy questions for later. Um, another question you might have is how long were we trying and let me tell you the TTT, the TTC trying to conceive story is kind of wild. Um, yeah, I will leave that all for the next video though, because it's, yeah, it's a little bit crazy. Um, praise God I'm pregnant now, right? Oh, and one more thing. Do I think it is a boy or a girl? My first baby was a girl and I felt great through that whole thing. And then I got a second pregnancy and I thought, oh, it's another girl because everything felt the same again. You know, I didn't really get too sick. You know, I gained weight about the same everything, but it was a boy. So I'm not even going to try to guess. Um, I feel like my skin isn't the greatest and I feel like my skin was not the greatest with Ivani. So maybe it's a girl. That's like a weird wives tale. I know that. I don't know. Anyway, so I actually, if I could pick... In my head, I'm thinking I would pick a girl just so that if I have Ivani, you know, she'll be four by the time the baby's born. Like, then she could have a sister that's relatively close in age. But if it's a boy, that would be cool too because then Fletcher would have a brother really close to him. And then me and Ivani could just be, like, best buddies, you know? It would be, oh, it could be so sweet. So, I don't know. Don't make me pick. I'm glad I can't pick. We just pray for a healthy baby, you know? That's what all of us expectant mothers do. And so you can join me in praying for that as well. Anyway, I am going to get some office work done, maybe start editing this vlog, and then I'll catch up with you at supper time when I'm making Philly cheesesteaks. We recently got a half of a cow when my parents butchered their beef, and we have been enjoying all the fun cuts of meat, like chip steak. So 
I'll see you in just a sec. So I've been watching Allison Bickerstaff lately and she always cooks with some kombucha in her hand and I'm like, that is genius. I don't really drink. Also, I'm pregnant now, so definitely not drinking. But I'm gonna try this Synergy Raw Kombucha. Um, and I just do a little bit because there could possibly be traces of alcohol in it, which I don't think that's true because why would they be selling on the shelf otherwise? But yeah, so I just wanna keep it like a small amount. Um, ask your doctor, I talked to mine. But this is the Ginger Aid flavor. So I'm just gonna sip on this and get working on my cheese steaks. Let's try this. Mmm, it has a bite to it. It's like sour, which is just what I need. <laughs> I usually like pour myself about this much and then still end up drinking about half of it. Kombucha is kind of strong. Um, ugh, it has definitely like a vinegary aftertaste to it or foretaste kind of to it. But I really like this flavor. Synergy Ginger Aid. And the kids are, what are you guys doing? Coloring and eating your little snack? What are you eating? They couldn't make it till supper time, so I gave them veggie straws. Are they good? Yeah. Oh, well, I yeah. One. Be not mistaken. There's no such thing as veggies in those things. <laughs> They're not really that healthy. It's just a little filler before supper, I guess. I'm so bummed. I ordered this rug for our toy room project we're going to be working on, and the colors came through completely different. They're like bright orange and like purple, and that's not what it looked like online. So Josh is... Oh, being a deer and rolling the thing up again, and we're gonna try to return it. It is from Well Woven Rugs, and the return policy is really good, but it's still gonna cost me to return it, so. And then I'm gonna put the meat in there so they like, like can pick up the oniony flavor. Um, but my favorite tip for chip steak is do not just like peel it off like paper and fry it up. Cut it up, like chip it up actually with your knife so you have lots of tiny little pieces. And that's how you're gonna get it like a real, actual, authentic cheese steak. And it's a lot easier to fry it that way too. Okay, the meat is done and I have it staying warm on low in our little kettle here. And here is the onions and mushrooms. And I am gonna toast the buns, um, but before I do that, I'm gonna add cheese sauce. You could use like Cheese Whiz. This is like an off-brand from Aldi, the Clancy brand. Um, and sometimes I'll use like shredded cheddar, but this is like the real authentic way to do it. Well, I don't know. It makes it taste more authentic. It's probably not the real way. But I'm just gonna pour this over the meat so it has the kind of a cheesy sauce right on the meat, and that'll just kind of stay warm in there while I toast the buns in the same pan I use for everything else. have the cheesy meat and the caramelized onions and mushrooms and you could add peppers to that if you had some I don't really have any on hand except for we're gonna be eating some of these for supper um, and then I did add some warmed up pizza sauce Oh my goodness, it's such a gloomy evening. Um, but it says it's supposed to be 40% chance of rain and I feel some drips, so we're not gonna go very far. But the kids wanted to bike. So we're just gonna bike on the sidewalk a little bit. Um, we could go out to the walking trail, but I don't trust it. I'm sure it's gonna start raining any minute. Fletcher, are you coming? 
You coming? There goes Vani. Go, go, go. Yep, Fletcher's coming. Yep, you went down the hill. Um, another hill. Another hill. Ah, just like that, it started raining. Like literally 30 seconds later, it's raining. We gotta go back as fast as we can go. Or as fast as this little guy will let us go. <laughs> go, buddy, go. We escaped the rain, we're back. Um, I'm actually gonna go downstairs now with Josh and we are gonna have like a little monthly business meeting. It's the beginning of the new month, so we have to go over some Fox Sparrow stuff and some Megan Fox Unlock things because if we don't do it, it gets really far behind. And then I'm just gonna give the kids baths. Maybe we'll have some like apples and peanut butter for a bedtime snack and yeah, and then we'll go to bed. Hey kids, you can go downstairs. We're gonna play downstairs now. So yeah, the kids just came in so I will catch up with you guys in the next video. It'll definitely be a fun, interesting Q&A. So yeah, until next time, I will see you all again very soon. Bye.